Hey guys, it's Viewmaster's Reactions, and this is another trailer reaction. I'm getting another four out today. I just did Richard Jewell, which is a Clint Eastwood film, and 1917, which has Benedict Cumberbatch in it. I know very little about this as well. Someone told me Guy Ritchie's coming out with a new movie with Charlie Hunnam, Matthew McConaughey, and Guy Ritchie's going back to his original form, and it's like a gangster film. That's all I know. I'm jumping right in because I want to see this. I am a big fan of all of Guy Ritchie's gangsterish type films. The last one he might have done was Rock and Rolla, maybe. I did see it in theaters, and I remember specifically that no one was in the theater. So I'm willing to bet that's why they kind of steered away from these type of films. I love them, but I feel like at the time, at least, Rock and Rolla came out, there wasn't a following for such films. So I know a lot of people that are into them now. They're kind of like cult classics. So hopefully this one does better. They're connecting a lot of famous names to it. So there's probably a whole lot more famous names I don't even know. All I know right now is Charlie Hunnam and Matthew McConaughey. So we're just going to dive in, guys. This is The Gentleman, Guy Ritchie film, first official trailer. I want you to play a game with me, Ray. I don't want to play a game. Oh, please. No. I said play a game with me, Ray. Man. Right. Lovely. Is that Hugh Grant? That looked like an old Hugh Grant. A character. Your boss, Mickey Pearson. You're too smart to be blackmailing us, Fletcher. <laughs> Sweet Mary Jane is my vice. Your poison, on the other hand, is and always has been the destroyer of worlds. You're out of touch, and I would like you to consider an offer. I am not for sale. The plot begins to thicken. Now, I can't be specific about the heroes and zeros, but our protagonist is a hungry animal. Colin Farrell is there. There is a there. lot of money hanging in the balance. Our antagonist explodes on the scene like a millennial firework and has indirectly started a war. I think you need to see this, boss. I still want a man for How do they find it? I'm making inquiries. His name is Fahok. It was spelled with a PH, so it sounds like Fahok. Please! Sorry, Fahok. Kanda Fahok. Please. That is definitely and Hugh Grant. No I was not sure. There's a fire. So you're going to have to stamp that out quickly. These people are going to clean house, and you are part of that house. In the jungle, the only way a lion survives. Not by acting like a king. By being the king. Oh. Brilliant. I've been waiting so long to be where I'm going. I like oh, this really warming up now, isn't it? There's only one rule in this jungle. When the lion's hungry, he eats. associates had an accident so you killed someone no it was the gravity that killed him oh. we need those phones we need those phones very much like that one guys it reminded me of the old movies that guy Ritchie used to do snatch is my favorite by far brad pitt as the piker and like he's like a bare knuckle fighter I don't know if you could ever surpass Brad Pitt's character. Snatch is not only my favorite Guy Ritchie movie, but Brad Pitt's character is probably my favorite character. Even though Snatch is loaded with so many lovable characters, Jason Statham is like one of the main characters before he was like anything super famous. He might have had like a little stardom at that point. That was like Brad Pitt's movie, though. The whole way that went down, the two of them together, great. And the way he talked and fought and how badass he was, Loved everything about Snatch. Definitely going to check this out. I love that they had like other actors in it, but you almost couldn't even recognize them. Like Colin Farrell was almost unrecognizable. If you know movies, you know Colin Farrell. But like, I feel like a lot of people wouldn't even know that was him right away. Hugh Grant definitely looked different. Once the beginning happened, I was like, that looks a lot like Hugh Grant. And then the halfway through the trailer, I still wasn't sure until they actually showed Hugh Grant's name. By then, I was pretty confident, but I still wasn't positive. They did some crazy makeup, facial hair, stuff like that. 
I dig it all though. I did like that there's also a different spin from your typical Guy Ritchie films too. It's basically a gang of Asians that are all into martial arts from what it looks like. And it looked like they were getting their asses kicked by the martial artists. So it was an interesting spin because usually it's just a bunch of British guys killing each other. This was an amazing first trailer and I'm definitely going to see it. I also love Matthew McConaughey. He might be a little cheesy and a little over the top some of the times. And in real life, maybe he's a little odd, but I do love Matthew McConaughey in mostly everything he does. And I just finished True Detective a couple months ago, and he was fabulous in that. Looking forward to this. You guys let me know what you think. Comments down below. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.